I would like to tell you about different kinds of shapes uh, that you can create while drawing. And it's important to know these shapes as you're composing different images. So uh, basic shapes obviously are geometric shapes. Um, also, there are shapes that are decorative. Um, decorative shapes are described as flat or two-dimensional shapes. Uh, so if you're creating a decorative shape, it would be something that you just fill in with one color or one value. So any shape basically that doesn't have variation can be called decorative shape. Other shapes that are important are biomorphic shape and basically biomorphic shapes are shapes that are nature inspired or are organic in their shape and they're reminiscent of things in nature. So, um, you know, it could be something very ambiguous but could mimic shape of a moth or a leaf or a fruit. So this kind of shape would be called a biomorphic shape. And amorphous shapes uh, don't really, are not very much identified with anything specific and they can be pretty abstract in their form. You should also know about negative and positive shapes. Mm -hmm. So you can create negative and positive shapes uh, by using charcoal or black India ink. So for example, whatever object you have in front of you would be white and the area in between would be black. If you were uh, drawing an apple, the actual apple would be white and then the area around it would be black. It's very important to also look at the surface of the objects that you're drawing when uh, using the negative and positive shape technique uh, because the, whether the object is smooth or rough can be conveyed uh, with the shapes that you're creating. And I guess the main goal when you're creating negative and positive shape drawing is looking at the negative space and defining that rather than drawing just the positive. And then you can fill all of your uh, negative space in with black India ink. Another technique that you can try is experimenting with drawing shapes, negative and positive shapes on black or gray or just dark paper. and then cutting them out and here I have my small cutting mat. Make sure you're always working on a padded surface and I got my X-Acto knife. When you're cutting something out it's important to have really sharp blades so that your edges are very accurate and thorough. And what you want to do is follow the lines that you drew. And then sometimes you'll have uh, small areas where you have to go over. But basically, if your blade is sharp, you should be easily able to cut these positive shapes out. Oops, I went a little bigger than I wanted to. But um, you can create really smooth and intricate lines with these. Uh, so if you want to play with negative positive shapes, you could have a cutout out of black paper. And then you could even layer it over white paper, such as this. And then you could even cut through white paper and have another layer of black paper. And that could give you a really interesting uh, and unique approach to using negative and positive shapes.